In this video, I'll be showing how to take 360 footage captured with a 360 camera, in my case, an Insta360 ONE X, um, and importing it to your computer and then editing it in Premiere. After that, I'll show you how to export your videos so it's ready for upload on YouTube as a 360 video. In this format, I'm able to move my mouse around to navigate around the video. As I said, I'm using a 360 camera, in this case, an Insta360 ONE X, it uses two spherical lenses to capture a 360 view of the scene. Uh, I'm going to use a micro SD card and then put it into this adapter um, so I can put it into my computer. In order to edit the footage in Premiere, I need to import uh, the footage as 360 video. I'm going to use the Insta360 Studio app, which you can download on the website. Here's the view of the Insta360 Studio app. Uh, what I'm going to do is use this to import my footage and uh, you know, select clips. I can actually edit it uh, from here. You can see I'm just pulling uh, the, the handles. Uh, and here I go to export the video. You want to make sure you're exporting 360 video. Uh, and I'm just using the H264 preset. If you need to change the resolution, you can. But I think the default um, 5,760 pixels wide is, is good. Okay, so now I'm going to open up Premiere. Uh, I've already imported that 360 video footage here, and I'm going to start to edit this together uh, and just make a short 360 video that I can then post on YouTube. So what I'll do is right-click on the footage, and I'll say New Sequence from Clip. This is going to bring in the footage, and you can see it's that 360 uh, equirectangular kind of projection. Um, and uh, one thing that I'll need to do if I want to sort of preview what this looks like, I've already added it here. Um, I'll show you, this is toggling the uh, VR view. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I can do that. Let us let me just reset the layout, and basically what you need to do is take this and drag it into your uh, icons here. Uh, and once you do that, you can see you'll, you're able to kind of move around and preview what that looks like. Um, if you go here, you can uh, change um, some of the settings. So for the VR video, if you want like a little a wider of a preview, um, maybe 180 degrees, something like this, uh, you can set that up. Now these are really big files, so you may want to make proxies of them or turn down the preview resolution. In this case, I've set it to one half, but you could even go to one quarter if your computer's not really handling the footage. Okay, and I'm just gonna drag these pieces together. Again, I can, um, if I want to, I can uh, move these around. I think this is the same footage for some reason. Um, okay, so I'll, let me just grab this other one. Editing this footage is just like editing regular video footage. All this footage was captured at the American Museum of Natural History. I just wanted to make an edit of this. And I've already trimmed this in the uh, Insta360 app. So I'm just going to be using Premiere to kind of composite it, or just edit it together, sorry. Uh, and then the last clip, again, this is just a short clip that I want to make, is this one right here. One other thing that you might want to do before you export this out is actually rotate the footage so that, you know, you can frame what you want um, to be seen first. Obviously, you can move around in the 360 video, but you know, in this first clip, um, I'm in the center of the screen and I might not want to be right in the center. So what I can do is um, apply an effect. If you go into your effects panel and you can just search for VR, um, we're going to go to VR Rotate Sphere and I'm going to go into my effect controls, which is over here. Or yours might be in a different place. Uh, but I'm going to go into here and you can tilt it, which goes up and down. Um, or in this case, I'm just going to pan this over so that the elephant goes in the center of the screen. So that's what we're looking at in the beginning. Let's see if this other footage is also uh, needing something, uh, an adjustment. I'm gonna uh, double click on that while this is selected to add that here. And I will also maybe move, uh, pan this around. So, you know, what, what do I want viewers to look at uh, originally? Obviously, like I said, they can move around, but um, I'm gonna go in and just apply this. Uh, and you know, just the way that I shot it, I ended up being in the center of it of this, the footage, but I probably don't want that. 
and the last clip is here and we can just move that over maybe even go up a little bit or you can kind of see what that looks like I think if I go this way you'll see that's like a little higher up maybe that's good because this is so tall so that that was like the last thing I wanted to do before I go and export this out. And when I go to export this, I'll just set the uh, out point here. Uh, hit O to set that. Here's the endpoint, And I'm just going to export this. Um, Command M on a Mac. Okay, so I am going to go export this. I've named this Natural History Museum. And um, I'm going to just do one thing. Under video, I want to uh, scroll down and look for more and because this is a 360 video vr video um, i do want to make sure that this is selected video is vr um, it looks like it's already selected by default but just good to know um, if you don't check that it's not going to display properly on youtube so i'm going to export this and from here I'm, i'll be able to uh, view this upload this on youtube and it's going to be 360 video so here's the video on YouTube. Now this ends up being a really big file. In this case, I think over three gigs. Uh, but you can see I can use the mouse in YouTube to look around the video, which is nice. You can, uh, you can look at things more closely or just you know focus on the things that you want to look at. You can also navigate around in the timeline. It takes a little while to load. I think this is a really quick and easy way to use 360 video. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I'll include a link to the 360 video in the description below.